Hello, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. And I have another marketplace video to share with you. I have so many wonderful journals just waiting to be shared with everybody, waiting to find homes that I thought I'd get through as many as I could in the next few weeks. So we're going to start off with some journals by Barbara. There's four of them. And then after that, we have a few more journals from another artist. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And her name is Yesenia. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So I'm excited to share those ones in a few minutes. So here's the first one from Barbara. I think I've sold two sets or two boxes full of journals from her before. Barbara and I uh, go way back. Um, we used to craft back when I first started the pack paper crafting a few years ago. So here is the first journal that she has for us. It's called Victorian Rose Garden. Look at the beautiful collaging. It is fabric covered in nice upholstery fabric. Sweet image of children. Beautiful spine. It's one inch. There are actually five signatures in here and they're little thin signatures. I really like that. It usually helps with the journal laying open well. And it's there's a key on the closure. Just wraps around and then you can just put it right out of the way. Beautiful colors. little pocket that's gorgeous for writing on definitely looks like a Victorian rose garden oh wow we even have a pull out I think she said there are 44 plus pages and four pull outs so I might miss some of them but we'll get to as <laughs> try to catch as many as I can so pretty it has some like mini album or I guess they're just called album when they're this side some album um, bits and pieces to it so pretty she's punched the corners out on these pages lots of places for writing and then you have lots of pretty things to look at in between. So these pull out and you can write on them. That is so neat. It's really heavy duty. And it slips right in there. And then you have the white pages again. So you can journal and add your own bits and pieces. And then you come to the, oh, look at how cute that is. Come to the next part. You have the pull out that slips in the pocket and then back to more pages. So pretty. Oh, I didn't see that side. Two tags that pull out of this. There's a belly band there as well. Fix that corner. So pretty. Victorian Rose Garden. Wow. So there's that one. She also sent this black and gold vintage one. Put this tag on. Look at the crinkled paper, the gold, the beautiful spine, three signatures. I love the polka dot closure, polka dot ribbon closure. Really nice. So very muted tones, lots of uh, neutrals, blacks and whites and creams. There's a few pastels as well. Very sweet. Gift of the Magi by O. Henry. I love that story.
Look at that beautiful lace. Really pretty journal cards. Lots of beautiful, beautiful coffee dyed pages for journaling. Look at this little die cut pocket so you can see the ephemera through it. That is gorgeous. So pretty. So that is black and gold vintage. This one is called Calico Girls. Look at how cute. Little buttons down there with the lace, lace on the spine. I love this paper. Three signatures, 102 pages total. little pictures, tags. I love the creaminess of the colors. Little pocket. I like her tags hanging on the bald pins. I think that is really cute. And that's an envelope with a journal card slipped in. I have this paper pad. I love this paper. Another big pocket. <clears throat> Near the end of this cold. <laughs> Lots of places for writing, lots of sweet and pretty things to look at. Very, very sweet calico girls. And one more from Barbara, pink and brown vintage roses. Look at how pretty. Love the color combination. Look at that crinkled paper on the spine. It's beautiful. Oh, look at the edges of the pages. There are four signatures. Look at how pretty that profile is. Oh, getting these ribbons tangled. There we go. Look at how pretty this color scheme is. Sweet little journal cards. It has a little bit of a soft, shabby, chic feel to it. Kind of also vintage romantic, pastel, floral, very vintage, very sweet. Beautiful colors. There's an envelope with a journal card. I love that heart trim. Oh, it's an envelope. Some journal cards inside of there. Very sweet. So those are the journals that we have from Barbara. And then Yesenia Diaz has sent some as well. 
We're going to start with this one. Very cute. I'm not familiar with her work, so I'm really excited to see what she does. Look at the spine. This is all patchwork and fabric covered. Look at the um, threads hanging out the bottom, like the waxed threads. Wow. Very pink. Very, look at the edges. Look at how fluffy with all that lace. This is a sweet little journal. I don't know. I was looking for the piece of paper that told about it. Oh, it's probably right here. Pretty pink, happy mail, junk journal. All items in the journal I received in happy mail. I love that. So it's like, instead of just hoarding it, she's sharing the love. Turning it into a journal. And she's received all these things and she's created something beautiful out of it. Isn't that beautiful? Look at all these little, those are sweet tucked in there, beautiful appliques. It also flips up for journaling. Lots of fluffy lace. There's a little glassine bag. And there's labels in here. Lots of pages to journal on, to decorate. There's a few beautifully decorated uh, pages as well for inspiration. Look at this, beautiful. Yeah, it's a pretty little tuck spot. I love this fabric. That is so pretty. Gorgeous. I like the buttons on the front. It's just so pretty. Nice size. Okay. And next is called Blue Fabric Happy Mail Junk Journal. This um, dangle clip, look at how pretty that is. That was in it and I think it might have fallen off a page, so I'll make sure it gets clipped on a page while we're going along. So again, all the items in here she's received in Happy Mail. It's really wide spine too, very chunky signatures, beautiful fabric, lace. I love blue and white in, in journals. Look at the fluffy lace all on the edges. Again, we have the waxed threads hanging from the bottom. Look at that, so pretty. Copy dyed and blue dyed pages. Very pretty. Look at that paper, not paper, fabric ruffle. And it's the same fabric as the cover. Here is a little envelope and there is a little pocket tag stuck in there. I love this coffee dyed graph paper. And we have some tuck spots and tags on this page. Beautiful. I'm going to use this clip on this tag. I don't know if that's where it belongs, but we needed to find a home for it. Maybe I should clip it off the bottom. That might make more sense. <laughs> I can't do it from this angle. <laughs> The sound of this paper, it's all crinkly and crunchy and happy sounding.
I love all the graph paper in here. There's a lot of pages that you can write on, do things with, experiment with, decorate. So that flips up. There's a pocket with some tags. Oh, look at that. I like that. The stenciling. Oh, it's just a pretty border. I thought maybe it was a tuck spot. Oh, these are my favorite pages in this journal. Lots of nice paper. And here's a pocket as well. So this is called Blue Fabric Happy Mail Journal. And then we have a few smaller ones, or thinner ones, I should say. This is called Green Paris. She's used a digital by Queen of Mirth. I don't know if I'm familiar with that shop. I'll have to look it up. Look at this cardstock. Beautiful. I love just little journals like this. They're so much fun for me to work in. Just these one signature, simple journals. They don't take too long to fill up, so you feel like you've accomplished something. I love this size and this style, working in something like this. All right, let's take a look at this envelope if we can get it out, because it feels chunky. There's some really pretty library cards in there. These would be wonderful to use in your journals. Really heavy, heavy duty envelope nice cardstock envelope well, that's neat look at that paper i've never seen anything like that before it's just beautiful I, I happen to just love simple little journals like this they're so much fun to work in they're not too expensive so you can still afford it but you get all of the joy of working out of a junk journal. So that is so pretty. And then she's made another one with the same cardstock, but this is a Paris themed one. So my guess is it's slightly different inside. So we're going to take a look. Look at those digitals. I'm going to have to check out that shop. I am not, I don't think I'm familiar with it. Though I have to tell you, there's been many times where I'm like, oh, I don't know that shop. And I look it up on Etsy and I already follow them. I just follow so many shops I don't always remember. Oh, beautiful digitals. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Look at this vellum with the gold on it. Ugh. <laughs> cute places there's a, quite a few places in here where you can add your own stenciling and stamping these are great too if you don't have a ton of time to create a junk journal but maybe you want to make some christmas gifts you can buy something like this that is gorgeous and put together add a couple personal touches a couple of your favorite stencils a couple of your favorite ephemera maybe put an image on the cover and give it as a gift. This is the time of year when we need to start thinking ahead to what we want to set aside for Christmas gifts. And I think these would be perfect to add a couple personal touches and give as a gift. We have a couple more um, of this size and style, but this is a different card stock. And this one is Digital by Queen of Mirth again, and this is a Paris theme. So my guess is, very similar inside, just a different outside cover. Yes, it is very similar. 
Again, this feels like the library cards are in there. I'm going to flip kind of quick through these since they're pretty similar. I love that little fabric cluster. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Letters from Paris. So this has just a different cardstock on the on the front and a few differences inside. So you can choose the cardstock that you want. I love the closure on these. Yeah, let's see, here's another similar one. This is a sewing themed journal. She's using Queen of Mirth Digitals again. I love this cardstock. So pretty. Okay, so this is sewing. I love sewing journals. This will be fun. Very sweet. Perfect for adding your own sewing ephemera into as well. I would suggest that when you go to my shop, you search Stitch in Time and you will find my sewing ephemera digitally or printed. And that would be so much fun to include in this journal as well. Do some gorgeous stenciling. Add a couple tuck spots. So pretty. So that's a sewing theme one. I'll finish tying them later. <clears throat> okay, I think this might be another Paris one. Let's see. Pretty, pretty colors on that cover. I love the rounded corners. It makes it so sophisticated looking. Very, very similar on the inside. Digitals from, this has the library cards in it, I'm sure. Don't want to take them out of everyone because it takes time, but make sure I'm right. Yep, it has library cards. So many different pages. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love how she has all these different types of pages, book pages, um, ledger pages, copy dyed pages, the white pages that you can stencil and make your own. And then she has these gorgeous digitals just placed strategically to make you happy as you flip through. So there's that one. This one is Bloom Vintage Paris. Again, I'm sure, look at that cardstock. Gorgeous. Very, very similar again. Perfect because you can pick up a couple of them or several of them for Christmas gifts. Finish them out the way you want them and, you know, give all your sisters or your friends a journal. Or, of course, if you just want one, several people will be able to get one, which can be hard sometimes. They go so fast and then you don't get one. So this gives you a little bit more of a chance. And she has one more journal, but it's a bigger one. And it is this sweet one right here. It is one chunky signature inside a repurposed book cover, fabric covered spine, and this looks like a school book. It's called English in Action. So this is another Happy Mail Reader's Dunk Journal, all items I received in Happy Mail. So look at that says September of 1959. So this is fun. This is definitely a fun junk journal, lots of papers. Again, stuff that she's gotten in Happy Mail. These papers are really pretty light green. Look at this one. I need to start dyeing more papers, different colors just getting another batch of coffee dyed paper going today and I always forget to do different colors. I love this light green. 
just so cheery and happy. So there's that one. And that is the end of the journals for today. Next week, there'll be some more. Um, I doubt that there'll be any more videos this week. There may be, but I doubt it. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching all the videos this week, for shopping in my shop, in my store, and I hope that you will purchase these journals. Also, check back, check when you're going on to look at these, check through the rest of the Marketplace journals. I'm reducing the price just a little bit so we can get them into a good home. Consider adding one of those to your order as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the flip through. I'll see all of you in the next video.